Hi everyone, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So I got some um, hauls to share with you guys today. Uh, I went to Hobby Lobby over the weekend. Basically, I just went because I wanted to get some Gamsol. Um, if you watch my videos and you saw my Timu, Timu um, um, order, I got the nubs and the pencils, but they did not sell Gamsol on um Timu and I'm not sure if like maybe they do and I just didn't put in the right search engine but I could not find it so I went over to Hobby Lobby and picked this up um this is quite expensive it's $6.49 but I think it will last a really long time um <clears throat> so I went and got that while I was there Paper Studio was on sale for 40% off so I picked up some Paper Studio things let me get rid of this bag Uh, what else is in here? Oh, the necklace. Okay. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. Let me get rid of this bag. Okay. Um, let's see. Put those over there. Okay, so they had the Paper Studio 40% off. So I ended up picking these butterflies up because I thought they were really, really pretty. They're sparkly. Off, um, like a little uh, white with iridescent sparkle, and then these little pink ones with um, pink sparkle on them. They were three forty nine with forty percent off. Um, and then I found these daisies, which are really cute, especially for spring coming. And those are three forty nine with forty percent off. I was out of pink bows, so I got some pink ones three ninety nine forty percent off. And the bows come in pink, white. Um, black, red, in like a um, a beige, a tan color, like kind of like a burlap. And I like keeping them in my sash because they're the, just the smallest size, perfect bow for your projects or for my cards. So I was out of pink, so I got the pink ones, 40% off. I also picked up a, a set of white. Oh, they have teal color, teal too. I picked the white ones up 40% off. Easter was 40% off. And these are the only things I picked up Easter. They're really cute. They're like little bunnies with their butts. The little bunny butts. And then the pom-poms with the spring colors. They're really cute. So that's the only thing I got Easter. These were on the back clearance wall uh, for 99 cents. They're like little yellow happy faces. Flat back. I don't know what I'll use them for, but for 99 cents, I took my chance and grabbed them. Um, these were not on sale, but I ended up picking up another package of uh, nubs. I got some from Timu, but um, I wanted to grab another another uh, package. They were not on sale. Those were $3.99. And then I use this a lot in my craft room, and I always buy the small tubes because... When I buy the big tubes, they end up getting real hard and you waste a lot. So I like um, the small ones because by the time it gets too hard and you can't use it, um, you have already used up your tube. So I like buying in these like this in small tubes. So this was $3.99. It was not on sale, but I picked that up. Um, and then this was on the clearance wall in the back. I just thought it was pretty. Um, it's a cross necklace. If you can see it like this you know how pretty that is it's really pretty half the chain is black beads and then up here is a regular gold chain and this was on clearance for 249 from 999 so I mean it's custom it's um costume jewelry obviously not real gold but I mean I just think it's really pretty so I got that. That was the only thing that they had left on the... Well, they have all the dyes on the clearance wall, but they're still only 40% off. I know a lot of stores put those dyes down. I don't know if they forgot that they have them on the wall. Um, and they just haven't gotten over there to remark them or what. But um, yeah, they're only 40% off and I'm not going to pay that for dyes. Especially, you know, yeah, I'm just not going to pay it. Okay, so that was Hobby Lobby. I got my stamps from Adorn It this month. Um, this was the monthly stamp. <clears throat> and it's the Carrot Drop, I believe. Grandma's Grandma Alice's Carrot Drop Cookie. So it's a Carrot Drop Cookie. I just absolutely love that. And then they give you the little extra little carrots you can add to your projects. So this was this month's um, stamp club. 
And then this was the add-on, which is really, really cute. Last year, this was out in a digital. And I know that um, the designers for Diane Marco made a lot of projects. But and then this time, this year, she made it into an actual stamp. It's so cute. So you get the little bunny there holding the carrot. And then this one's holding flowers and she's in the wreath. You get the to and from. There's a carrot on this side. And there's a bunny on this side and it has carrots pattern in the in the body of the bunny. You got a, two little flowers, a tulip and like a little, uh, um, what is that called? Oh my gosh, I can't think of it. Like a primrose or something. And then you get three carrots with different designs in the middle of them. So that was this month's club kit, uh, the club stamp and add-on. I don't buy the paper. Um, I don't know. I just, I don't buy the paper. Um, and then I got an order in from Timu. This order is not um, sponsored. This was something that I bought myself. So I'll show you what I got. <clears throat> the first thing I picked up was this fruit um, blender blender cup um i don't know i haven't really mentioned it but i'm on a weight loss uh trying to lose weight and i'm down about 40 pounds so i'm doing pretty good but this was really cute um and it mixes the fruit and everything right in the cup so this was um i think i'm not sure exactly what how much it cost um if I'll leave the links down below to what I purchased and then you can go over and check it out yourself. But I end up getting the purple one. They come in a lot of different colors, but I got the purple. It comes with a charger so you can recharge it. And then what you do is you put your, um, I think there's actually a little video on Timu. Um, you put your uh, fruit or whatever you want to have crushed up in here. Um, you put it in there and then you see that little... Um, mixer thing down the bottom i'll show you so this mixer thing and then it comes apart so you can clean it so you would put all your fruit in here or whatever you want to mix up um and then you would mix it right in the cup okay tina get it straight don't get it if you don't put it on straight it'll be crooked oh i can't do it right now oh there we go sorry you guys all right, so you put your fruit and stuff in here. Then you would put your top on, of course. <clears throat> okay. And then you would hit the button and it would mix it up. I believe it's just on a charge. So I have to charge it up. Yeah, the little charger's right there. I got to charge it up first before I can use it. The, the top has a little happy face. has two eyes and a happy face. That's really cute. And then <clears throat> I believe... <coughs> I'm still sick, you guys. I'm so sorry. Um, I think you can drink it from here, um, or you could just pour it in another cup, but you can drink it right from there if you want. There's like a thing that will hold the fruit back if there's any big chunks. So when you're drinking it, you won't get like, you know, the big chunks, but I thought it was really cute. It's pretty for, um, you know, and it's, it was very inexpensive. Like I said, I can't remember exactly what it was, the cost was, but I'll put it down below. So yeah, I've got that from Timu. All right, let's move that stuff. And this is a plug for my bathroom sink. I don't know, you guys, if you have the same problem I have, I had a plug in, you know, the push button in the bathroom sink and it kept breaking, like it would come loose, disconnected. I had my husband fix it a couple times. Um, well, now there's a hole. I took the button out because <clears throat> I got frustrated with it. So I took, took the button out. And um, last week I dropped my tooth. I have a power toothbrush. So the, the um, brush part that you put on, the power brush, it fell down the sink. And then I had to fish it out with a, a hanger. So this I thought was really cool. This is a plug that you could put down in your sink. And when it's popped up, Everything that goes down the sink will get caught underneath in here. So it won't go down inside the drain. On Timu, they show a sample where someone dropped like a necklace. And when it went down into the into the um, drain, it got caught in here so you could get it out. And then it's just a push button. Isn't that pretty? It's cute. You could take the blue off. The blue is so it doesn't get um, scratched. But you just stick that in there. You can push it down and it will hold water or you can have it up. 
and then it replaces that little plug that usually is in your bathroom sink. So I'm going to put that on there and um, try it out. And they give you, whoops, they give you an extra washer. So in case your washer goes bad, there was one on here, but they give you an extra one just in case. So that's my bathroom sink. And then I got, um, I got a whole bunch of stuff, you guys. I can't even tell you how many orders I have now at Timu um, coming. I still have a ton coming. And okay, this I thought was bigger than it actually is. This is this I bought from my kitchen sink, but I don't know that it's going to be big enough. We'll see. And this is just a little catch-all, so this will catch the stuff. I don't have a garbage disposal. I have a um, septic and a well here in my house because I'm out in the country. So um, this is just to catch the stuff. I don't know if it's going to be big enough or not. We'll see. It says it's for kitchen sinks, but um, I don't know. To me, it looks small. We'll see. I'll put that in my kitchen sink, see how it works. Okay, so I got a lot of um, these really pretty these are heart with um hearts with like a little um diamond in them and they're they have a hook so they're a little charm um hopefully you can see them really pretty okay um and i got this sprinkle mix and this was called it just says red it just says red. Like I said, I'll try to leave the links down in the description box. Um, so you want to go check it out. This is really pretty. It's got uh, red. And, well, to me, it looks like a really dark pink. It's got silver and it's got little stars and flowers. It's just a mixture. There's hearts in there. Um, this little, oh, there's a shell. It's really pretty, you guys. Look how pretty that is. And I think these were like a dollar something a piece. So I got that. I got I got it again um, in pink. And then I got it in yellow. <clears throat> I don't have a lot of yellow, but I was thinking sunflower projects that maybe I want to make some kind of sunflower shaker. And the yellow was really pretty on the website. So I grabbed the yellow. Um okay i got the white iridescent and i think i got two of those on accident yeah i did i got two they have the same stuff in them the flowers the stars the little hearts um they actually have this little circle with the with the score lines in it that's really cute i didn't see that in the red and um they have shells but these are the two i got these are iridescent white iridescent they're pretty and you can mix this with anything because it's so iridescent. You could just mix it in with the yellow and, you know, so it's kind of good that I ended up with two. And then I got the blue. And then I got the green. They had so many more colors. They had all kind, purple, um, real red, uh dark blues they had all kinds of colors you guys but um basically i just uh this one actually has little bunny heads oh my gosh i didn't see that that's really cute that has a bunny head in there and butterflies oh wow i wonder if they're all the same or if they're different no they're different because this one doesn't this one has stars and seashells the blue one and flowers they're just really pretty and you get a good amount. I mean, I don't know how much is in here, but this is a really good size bag. You see it in my hand. So you get a lot. That's one thing I was worried about. I was thinking, oh man, I wonder how much um, actually comes in a bag for the dollar something. But you get a lot. So those are the colors that I got. And then I got some dyes, you guys. And I'm a little disappointed in some of them, but I'll tell you which ones. Um, okay, so let me get something over here. So I can show you what it looks like. <clears throat> oh man, that's not. I want something that's gonna be white. Hold on, I'm sorry. Okay, so this would be a bow dye, and it has it, it makes it has rabbit feet. So you can make the bow, and then it has rabbit feet that are at the bottom of the bow. The sample on the website was really really cute, so I got that one. I got this, which is like on the edge die, 
it has hearts and flowers. And the samples, like I said, the samples are really pretty. This is smaller than I thought. It's a little frame with a star. Um, it has a whole bunch of stars. Then it has two little stars that you can disconnect and do separately. I got that one. This is smaller than I thought. And that's a heart. It looks like an infinity heart. That's why I wanted it. But I thought it was much bigger than this. So you have to pay attention to the measurements on the site, okay? Um, don't be like me. <laughs> this is smaller than I thought. And this is a frame. A circle frame and it has like little where you can put berries and stuff um, the reason I wanted something like this I'm gonna keep looking for something bigger because I saw a sample of a card with the Tracy Hay um, stamps and they had the image sitting on like what looked to be like the moon um, and I was looking for something like that so I could sit the image but I think this is gonna be too small for that but I'll use this for sentiments um, these little hearts they're just plain, no stitching. I just like the way they were shaped. So grab that set. Um, here's some daisies. Those are a perfect size. Um, this is a happy birthday. And it has stars all around it. It's really pretty in the sample. This one is some angels. There's a little girl angel and a boy angel really cute they don't have faces they're like a, a silhouette how do you call it um silhouette like yeah they don't have like a face you see this shape but they're looking sideways but i think those are really cute and they're a good size the flowers are a good size these are tulips no stitching just a regular tulip okay so that's a good size these butterflies are, um, they're a good size because if you want to put them on cards, you don't want them too big. Um, they have stitching in them, and that's the three sizes you get. I put the sticker right over the front so you can't see the big one, but there's three in there. Um, this is like a little chick, and it's supposed to be, um, I believe this looked like a little box or something. Oh, you could put it on a box. It has wings, umbrella, the cracked egg has the little basket that he can hold um yeah so let's see the little chick it's like so hard to see but i'll i'll uh, cut these out and show you this is another bow these are really pretty the flourishes this one has the leaves this one has like more of like a berry and they're really fine so hopefully they cut very good and you can use these on your projects very pretty i like these um this one too this i love that's i think that looks like wheat but i love the size and i love i just love it so i got that one and then this is smaller than i thought this is a oval and it has um one, two, three, four dies in it. I like the shape, I mean, the, the design. So I'll cut that out and um, come back and share with you. So, um, but yeah, that's what I got at Timu this time around. Oh, I did end up getting also um, um, the cover, the screen protector for my iPhone and it came with three and they're in the kitchen because my husband used one this morning he broke one of his oh he broke his it had a crack in it so when I saw them on Timu I ordered it and he just put it on his phone and he says they're just as good as the ones you buy from AT&T so um yeah he put that on his phone this morning but it did come with three so um but like I said the package is in the in the kitchen but I'll leave the link down below anyway for the screen protectors. This way you guys can um, check it out if you want to see what they're about. But my my opinion is that they're really good quality. So that's what I got today. That's the haul I got. I'm going to put this stuff away and I'm going to create a little bit here. Um, I am feeling a little bit better. But I'm a little upset right now um, also because um, I don't know if you guys, if you're my regular watchers, you know I have a friend in New York and she when she sends me big packages and boxes of happy mail she never wants me to announce who she is which is fine um but i hadn't heard from her in a while the last time i heard from her she sent me a 
two or three big, huge boxes of dies and stamps and everything. And I had sent her a thank you card and we were talking and she said that she was feeling much better. She goes up, up and down with her, you know, being sick. And her mom passed away two years ago and she was struggling. Um, and, but anyway, she was doing really good. She said that she was up and about and she had energy and that was the last I heard from her. And I didn't hear from her for a long time. And at Christmas, I've been sending her emails and she don't reply. And it, that's abnormal because I don't know. Um, she always replies. And I got no reply. And then I actually just got the Christmas card I sent her back in December. I just got it back in the mail today. And on the front, it says, return to sender vacant unable to forward so i'm very very nervous i'm worried i don't know i don't know if she passed away i i and there's no way to really find out because the only thing i had of hers was her email and um that she lived in new york because me and my husband took a trip one day and we went um to new york to actually see her and she gave me like so much craft stuff and we filled my truck with stuff and then we brought it back. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if she passed away or what's going on. And I don't know if her, her niece was checking in on her and she had a caretaker. I don't know if maybe they put her in a convalescent. Um, I just don't know. And I, then, like I said, there's no way to find out. She won't, she never answered my emails. And like I said, that was very, um, unusual for her not to answer my emails and then when I got the card back today that really broke my heart because um yeah I don't know I don't know what happened to her so um yeah so I, that's uh, he weighing heavy on my mind right now but um Gigi is home you guys I know I'm talking a lot Gigi is home I'm sure she'll be doing a video pretty soon um you know, doctor says it'll be a while for her to recover, but she is back home as of yesterday. Okay. All right, you guys, that's all I have for you. I'm sorry I was doing so much talking. <laughs> uh, some of you like it, some don't. So, all right, you guys, blessings. Have a great, great week, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.